Welcome to a video on determining the shortest distance between a line and a point. If we're trying to determine the shortest distance from this red point here to this black line here, we can see visually it's going to be a segment that's perpendicular to the black line. If the segment is not perpendicular, you can see it would not be the shortest distance. So the shortest distance between a point and a line is a perpendicular line segment. And a lot of times when you're solving a problem like this, they won't even say shortest distance. It'll be assumed that if you're finding the distance between a point and a line, that it is the shortest distance. So the key to trying to solve a problem like this is determining the end point of the perpendicular segment. And once we find that point, let's say right here, we'll just use the distance formula to determine the length of this segment. And one thing we're going to review first is the slopes of perpendicular lines. Remember the slopes of perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals of one another. So for example, if we have a line with let's say slope two-thirds, if the second line is perpendicular to this line, then the slope of the second line would have to be negative three-halves. So we flip it over and we change the sign. Let's say we had another line that had a slope of let's say four. If it's not in fraction form, it's often helpful to make it into a fraction by putting it over one. Therefore, if line four was perpendicular to line three, the slope would have to be negative one-fourth. Now the only exception to this is when we have a vertical and a horizontal line. Remember a horizontal line has a slope that's equal to zero and a vertical line has an undefined slope. One way to remember this is that we can make zero into a fraction by putting zero over one. The negative reciprocal of zero over one would be negative one over zero or negative one divided by zero, which is undefined. Let's go and take a look at our example. Here we want to determine the shortest distance between the line and the given point. The given point has coordinates three, negative five. So that's going to be one end point of the segment. And then the question is, what is the other end point of the segment that's perpendicular to the given line? So our first step will be to determine the slope of the given line. So let's go ahead and pick two convenient points. Let's say this point here and this point here. I say convenient because the coordinates of these two points would be integers. And now we can make a triangle to represent the change in y with respect to the change of x. So to go from this point to this point, notice we'd have to go down two units, so that would be a negative two, and then we go right one unit. This tells us the slope of this blue line is equal to negative two over one or negative two. Now the reason that's so helpful is the slope of the segment here that's going to give us the distance between this point and this line would have a slope that's the negative reciprocal of the blue line. So the slope of this perpendicular segment would have to be the negative reciprocal of negative two over one, which would be positive one over two or one half. So now we're gonna go ahead and sketch the line that passes through this point that would be perpendicular to the blue line, and then we can determine the other end point of this segment. So from this point, we'll use the slope to find another point on this line. So we'll go up one and right two, and now we can go ahead and sketch the line that's perpendicular to the blue line. Now even though we just sketched the line, remember we're only concerned about the coordinates of the segment with one end point here at three, negative five, and one end point here at the intersection of the red line and the blue line. So the coordinates of this other end point is going to be one, negative six. So now we'll find the distance from one, negative six to three, negative five. And this will be the shortest distance from this given point here to the blue line. Let's go ahead and call these the ones and these the twos. So using our distance formula here, we're gonna have the distance is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared. So we'll have three minus one squared plus negative five minus negative six. That'll become negative five plus six squared. So we'll have the square root of, this will be two squared, that's four, plus this will be positive one squared, that's one, 
So the distance is equal to square root 5, which is approximately 2.236. So this would be the shortest distance from the given point here to the blue line. Now I do want to point out one more thing. Notice how the intersection of this red line and the blue line had integer coordinates. Sometimes the coordinates might not come out so nicely, and if that was the case, we may have to solve this as a system of equations to determine this point of intersection. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.